Hello. Today I'm going to show you a very quick technique on how to square any numbers in the teens, okay, mentally. Now this is a very good technique and it's not often used, but it's very, very helpful, okay. What you're going to do, you're going to look at the number you're going to square and you're going to go up by the first number on the right, okay. Then what you're going to do is you're going to square that number on the right. Again, let me demonstrate, okay? Let's do 11 squared, okay? So what you're going to do, you're going to go up 1 to 12, then you're going to square 1, which is 1. So the answer would be 1, 2, 1. You see how that works? It's very, very simple. Let's just continue on from there then. Let's square 12, okay? Look at the 12, you're going to go up 2 to 14, and then you're going to square 2, which is going to be 4. So it's 1, 4, 4. See how that works? It's incredibly easy to do. Let's do one more for another example. Let's do 13, okay? So this is going to be 13 squared. You're going to take the 3, you're going to go up 3 to 16, and then you're going to square 3 to 9. So it's 1, 6, 9. Isn't that incredible? That takes a lot of pressure off you. Continue on. Let's do 14, okay? Let's go up 4 to 18, and then, now this one's going to have a little bit of a carry because when you square the 4, it's 16. So what you do, that turns the 8 into a 9, and then you have 6 from 16. But it's still simple, isn't it? Okay? So it's 1, 9, 6. Okay? Now I want you to see if you can just figure out the rest for yourself. Next thing I'm going to do is show you how to square numbers in the 50s. Very, very easy. All you got to do is remember one rule. Row 1 is that 25 is the product of the number 50. Okay, So all numbers that you deal with are going to be 25 plus the number on the right. So let's start with uh, 51. So if you look at the, the 5 and say that's 25 plus 1 is 26, then you simply square the 1. But if it's less than 10, you go, oh, 1. That's the answer. So it's going to be 2601. Okay. Let's square 52. Again, 2 and 25, 27. And square 2 is 04. Okay. Very, very simple. Let's do one more. Let's square. Let's go. Let's not go all the way up to the top. Let's just take one right in the middle. Okay. Let's square 55. Okay. So obviously 25 and 5 is 30. And then 5 is 25. Very, very simple, okay? So, going back, when you square numbers in the teens, again, you just have to go the number on the right, up that amount, and then square that amount. Looking out for anything that carries. In the 50s, same thing. 5 equals 25, number on the right to 25, then square that number, less than 10, add a 0. Incredible. Leave with one more, okay? We're going to do numbers in the 60s. Now, this one's going to be a little bit different, and I'm going to leave you something to do basically for homework, okay? The basic rule for 60s is you look at 6 as 36. Number on the right, you add 36. Then you double that number on the right, and then you square the number on the right. And we'll do one example right now for you, okay? So this is going to be 62 squared. Okay, so 36 plus 2 is 38. 2 squared, or 2 double, excuse me, is 4. And then 2 squared is 4. See how that goes? Okay, so it's very, very easy to do. The thing about squaring is that when you square numbers, it helps you to get to a higher number easily. Okay, so for example, if you were looking to do um, 52 times 53, and you were stuck, all you have to do is you would you would square the 52 and then you would add 1 times 52 because you got one left over. So it's very simple to do, okay? Hopefully I helped you. Have a great day and we'll talk to you later.